What's going on guys? My name is Corey. Welcome to Tinker Time. Hey guys, today we're working on a 1999 Yamaha Kodiak 400. This customer dropped this off to me. It's a, a smoking real bad. So uh, a couple other things going on with it that we're going to work on. But uh, let me show you, start it up and show you what's going on with it. Oh man. Cell noise bad too, so we got to tinker with it. All I hear is excuses. <laughs> excuses over here, bro. We're gonna be fixing this too. Are you kidding me? Uh oh. Sick clouds, bruh. <laughs> Hell yeah. Man, that smells horrible. <laughs> Dude. That's just god awful. Yeah, that's not very environmentally friendly, is Bruh. it? Bruh. <laughs> it's like the Subaru guy next door. Sick clouds! <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, yeah. my plan is, uh, today we're going to be, uh, pull the tear down. We're going to uh, check the conditions of the piston rings and uh, valve seals. We'll get those parts ordered up. And uh, part two of this video will be reassembly and putting all those parts on. I'm going to uh, pull the carburetor off, throw it in the ultrasonic cleaner. Cause it likes to die sometimes we'll be checking out the starter solenoid and i got a secret for these nasty plastics we're going to take care of so when i get done with this thing they should be nice and clean and bring the color back to them so i'm excited to see how this turns out are you going to teach me something today we're going to learn a lot today oh man so let's throw it on a time lapse and get to work <laughs>
right, so we got it tore down. We're ready to start the disassembly process, but it's really dirty in there. So uh, I want to give it a good pressure wash and get any dirt away from the openings that I can. So that way we don't risk dropping any dirt into the cylinder. So that's what we're going to do now. Here's the time lapse. <laughs> Oh, it's trashy. <laughs> <laughs> it's only so much a little simple green purple power, power can do. But it's a little rough, but you know. It'll clean up. It'll be fine. It will. Push it back in. Oh man. I guess I'll help you. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <gasps> oh jeez. That requires some MAN, Steve. It does, man. I might poop. <laughs> I don't know. I just steer it. Oh, yeah. There we go. Bro, you're taking out your bush. Nice. Okay. Great. Now my hands smell like simple green. <laughs> Beer time. Beer time? I still got a little bit left. Yeah. And just like that, I'm out. Me too. <sighs> All right. I need some gloves. Oh, those fancy high dollar gloves that you got? Actually, I'm going to use the cheap one. I'm going to go for the Erotic Tech. They're right behind me. Ah! Yeah. Oh, them cheap boys don't want to use them freaking ten dollar gloves. Yeah, I gotta save those. Oh, what do you save those for? Why do you even have expensive <laughs> gloves versus cheap gloves? Why? What well, what's your ideal situation to use those expensive gloves for? To not get my hands dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a correct answer to that? I don't know, man. Hmm. I'm not the one differentiating between a cheap pair and <laughs> an expensive pair. Hmm. <laughs> hey. Hey. Haters gonna hate now. Haters gonna hate. Bruh. Yeah. You're a good friend. That's right. No, you don't. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Hmm? What? What'd you say? I said I try. Oh, all right. Look like the China man put these boots on too. <laughs> But, happiness, bruh. <laughs> it's happiness. Oh, Yamaha. Mm. It's awesome watching you um, try to break loose stuff because I'm like, is it gonna snap? Is it gonna is it gonna go ahead and just break? I mean, this is. An 89 Honda, how dare you? It's a 99. 99 Yamaha, how dare you? All right, that's your uh, camshaft gear and timing chain. So what am I looking at exactly? That's your camshaft gear. Remember on the last video, we were trying to line that mark up? Yes, sir. So on this one, it's a little different. Why is it so big? That's a big ass camshaft gear. It's uh, do you know the correct answer to this? Four times the size of motor that we was working on last time. Mm. But what size is this? 400 cc. Oh, okay. So that makes sense. Why? Because it right here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you're right. Bring it on in. All right. So on the camshaft gear, there's a mark by this white line, white spot. Mm -hmm. That line has to be in line with this. So that's where that top dead center. So there's a hole down here. We'll take off. Make sure the crank's at top dead center. All right. And we'll do that thing. All right. Let me get that off. You 
you spin me right round, baby, right round. <laughs> <laughs> like a record player, baby, round, round, right round. Is that how it goes? I think so. I don't think so. I don't even know. <laughs> I gotta get a little different setup here. Bro, I think I need a bigger drawer, huh? I don't know, dude. All I see is an ass of Harbor Freight tools and yeah. a cheap ass white man. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them are Harbor Freight. I'll give you that. Hey, man, you should tell everybody what I did to your Harbor Freight. Oh yeah. Yeah. So I was building a uh, 2005 YZ 250 two stroke from the ground up. Beautiful bike. I wish I would have never got rid of it. This man comes over. He's like, I want to help. I was like, okay, cool. Throw that front wheel on and torque the axle nut to whatever <laughs> torque I said. A significant amount. I mean, it holds a wheel on. This man, he's like, I need a torque cramp. Comes in. He's like, hmm, the smallest one will do. <laughs> so he, grabs, he grabs the smallest torque wrench, quarter inch drive, and tries to torque something like like thirty foot pounds. Thirty or foot something. pounds. <laughs> or something stupid. Snapped right off. Hey man, if it was a if it was that little torque wrench I had in my house, that would have worked, bro. <laughs> Ain't no Harbor Freight jammy, son. Hey, that thing is so old it has like a needle on it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's the, that's the inch pounds one, bro. <laughs> How you gonna do me like that? I'm not doing you like that. Damn. Just straight up coming in here and breaking my torque wrenches like that. Well, if a homie got something else better than a damn Harbor Freight torque wrench, we wouldn't have any issues. But I could, I if do admit, I did right make a wrong decision. <laughs> if you would have grabbed the right torque wrench, we wouldn't have had any You're issues. You're right. <laughs> I still would, probably would have broke it. Yeah. It's that, that brute strength, the cousin edge strength. You know, the tall cousin that really doesn't like to say much. He just kind of sits there in the corner and stares at the fly hovering around him. What show is that from? I don't know. I just made it up Ed real quick. Ed There you go. Let's go with it's that. It's all goofy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's you. It is. All right. Yeah, I'm going to conveniently place this shifter right here in the way so it's about to come off so I can make sure we're TDC on the crankshaft. Look at that. Beautiful. Right out the way. So I need to get in here. This is your inspection window. Where is it? Right here. Go ahead, take that plug out, All and right. we'll be able to see the flywheel. Gotcha. You spin my hand right round. <laughs> Man, that just reminds me of Meat Spin. Have you ever been to MeatSpin.com? No, never. No. Well, do me a favor. No, like, not doing it. No. Not doing it. I mean, what's it sound? It sounds pretty dirty to you, doesn't it? Meatspin.com. Yeah. It does. It, it is. <laughs> so uh, you kind of get the idea where where they get the name of the website from. And uh, I went to my buddy's job once, and this actually this is pretty funny. Um, he worked at a design company where he did like um, he designed like drones and different things like that. I mean, really cool, dude. Mm -hmm. So I'm over there. I go on his website, meatspin.com, and um, it's some meat spinning, all right? Well, it counts every time that it spins, mm -hmm. and it got up to like 150,000 or something like that, 150,000 spins, because I turned it on on a Friday, and it was spinning all the time. The entire weekend, that thing was spinning, bro. He went back to work, it was still spinning. <laughs> I don't know if his boss saw it or not, but that would be awesome. That's like icing on the cake. Yeah. Meats. What kind of meat was it? Uh, it looked like um, kind of like a Pulaska sausage. <laughs> That's kind of what it looked like. I mean, I'd even say kielbasa. Tube steak covered in underwear. Smothered in underwear. No underwear. No underwear. No, just tube steak smothered. <laughs> Getting all the sick angles over here. Don't you be showing me no booty crack today. Wore a long shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Wore a long shirt for that reason. Yeah. There may or may not have just been an Easter egg. 
displayed right there on that one of a previous video. <laughs> For those of you that haven't watched it yet, go ahead and watch our previous build, which was a, what was it? That was a 2016 Cal pit bike. Still, I don't know if it's running or not, but it's sitting over there. You guys watch the video and see if it runs. That's the girl right there. You spin my hand around. Dude, that little pit bike rips, man. It does? That little pit bike rips. When it was, before it was, uh, torn apart. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Because we don't know if it's running or not. We're only at part two. I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh. <laughs> All right, 17 millimeter. What does that equate to in standard if you're that guy that only has standard? Come on. Won't work. Oh, poo. It's only a little bit of a wiggle room. You could do it. Same thing. So you got an F and a T on your flywheel. You can watch this hole right here. Oh, that hole. Sorry. Can't get too close. the F. So that's where the spark plug fires. All right. right past it should be a T. And there's some cutouts in this window. So it might be pretty difficult for these people to see because obviously GoPro. So hopefully you can see that. So right there and you'll see with this pointer looks like this one is off a little bit. That could be cam uh, cam chain stretched they don't seem very tight. Look at that. Yeah, that's pretty loose, man. So you might need a new cam chain. But so is this supposed to be super, super tight? It should have some uh, stiffness to the chain. Now, here's a question. I know on my dirt bike, um, my RMZ that I had, mm -hmm. I actually had to adjust the cam chain tensioner like I had to run it out and then run it back in for it to pick up that slack again do you think that might be something that is going on with this is there a, a cam chain tensioner that's readily accessible on this thing there is that, that's a pretty big motor it's right here and we're about to pull it out so we can get that uh, cam chain off of there but we're gonna pull that off next and we'll break into it and see what we find hell yeah what time is it beer 30 <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it's beer 30. I, I didn't know because daylight savings just happened. Oh, man. Thank you. No problem, bros. Yeah, got gloves on. Oh, come on. One second. Look at him. He's leaving me hanging. <laughs> I didn't even leave a homie hanging like that. Okay. Take your time. Down. All right, we're ready to pull the tensioner out. All right. I'm not familiar with this engine, whether or not it's a directional. So I'm just going to put a mark on it so we know that's outside. Yeah. Loosen these bolts up. So this is automatic adjusting. Some people move the manual adjustments, but you can hit this lock here, and it's fully extended. So, so that means that the cam chain needs to be replaced? I didn't hear it making any noise, but... Well, if it's loose, I mean, might as well let it know. Yeah. That's a whole new video, cam chain replacement. It is. Flywheel's gotta come off. Theta. Cam chain down too low. But let's get this on the bench. Once I was seven years old, yeah. my mama always told me that I'd have a girlfriend. <laughs> Looks <laughs> like a boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> you always come up with some crazy 
songs that don't even make sense. No. <laughs> Bro, you should hear the songs that my wife hears. I sing her sweet melodies all the time. Do you? Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> He's still going, bro. Yeah, he is. So, uh. I can get this chain off of here. What about putting that gear on? Old Tinkerville, we got people running around and singing. <laughs> I think of you. Think of you. Represent. I'll take that gear off. I'm going to take it off. Taking the gear off? Yeah. And I'll need one zip tie to hold it up so it don't fall down the engine. And then, zip tie, size that is. Dad, if you're watching this. Oh, thanks, shit. Thanks for the big boy impact. Your dad got that for you? Yeah, for Christmas. What? This thing ripped, son. Dude. Damn. That's a must have. That's awesome. So then there's a keyway right here, so you can only go on the camshaft one way, so your timing will always be right. I see that little notch. So what are we doing right here? I forgot. I'm sorry. <laughs> this, I had a few beers. We're pulling the camshaft uh, sprocket off of here so we can get this head off. And then, so if I let this chain go right now, it'll fall down the engine. Yeah, and that's no good. You can always go off. Is that too sweet? Zip tie reusable zip tie. You can do that. Alright, so we're ready to pull the top of the head off. And then I think it's split up into sections here. This is your cylinder. This will be your head. So cylinder right there, and then where it gets that fatter part, that's the head? Mm hmm Okay, I wouldn't have known that. I'm here for you, Pookie. Thanks. I appreciate that, Sexy. <laughs> How did I get so lucky? Well? Well? Well, it's the big show. <laughs> well, it's the big bad show tonight. <laughs> oh man! All right. I know you watched that wrestling when you were growing up. WWE. I still watch it, son. It's getting good. Really? Yeah. You still watch it? Not like, bro, no. bro. I'm not, I don't watch it every weekend. Bro, this is still so. This is something I didn't know about you that you it still watch wrestling. Watch it. Really? Yeah. I, dude, I haven't seen an episode, and I can't even tell you how long. You're missing oh. out. You guys are. That's real stuff. It is. That's real. You it guys is. Are really. Hey, real. man. Mankind, Mick Foley. <laughs> that man got thrown off Hell in a Cell by, who was it, The Undertaker? Something like that. And know. that man fell down like 30-something feet into a desk with his back. Like, <laughs> come on, bro. That's real. That's real. If anybody says that's not real, they're lying to you. Right? R.I.P. Bret Hart. <laughs> Old Bret Hart. Old Didn't Bret he always Hart. wear pink pants with uh, hearts on them? Yep. The old Hart brothers. Yep. It was Bret Hart and Corey Hart or Carrie Hart? Cor no, no, Carrie Hart's a dirt bike rider. I need to look up these torques when we go back together. It's uh, Elbow Click City. No. This is a custom. I can't be <laughs> winging it like that. Oh, oh, I get it, so... Okay, I'm just not even a customer then. Just you just send me out on the on the death trap to go see what happens. Is that what, is that what we're doing over here? You did that with the YZ. What? What oh, YZ? Yeah, for people that are that are watching, this man freaking <clears throat> built this beautiful YZ250 that was just absolutely trashed beforehand, and he built this awesome thing. He test rode it around just a little bit in the neighborhood. Went out into the woods just a little bit. He decided to bring it out to a dirt bike track, our, our local track. 
Go, we're gonna go ahead and plug Daisy Georgia on this. Go check him out if you guys are in the area. Live Oak. Live Oak. Um, he went out there. And he's like, yeah, man, go ahead, take it for a spin. I'm like, all right, cool. I get out there before this man even took it out in the track like that. I got out there, I was ripping titties on it. <laughs> Came back, he's like, yeah, I just wanted a test driver. <laughs> <laughs> got him. Got him. Man, sent me out for my death. What a great pal. Hey, it worked out for you, didn't it? It did, man. I looked like I was going fast. I still got the video. That video was pretty rad. We might have to go ahead and plug that video. Yeah, we'll plug it in here. He was ripping on that thing. That was funny. And then I overjumped that damn, uh, that table, the second table, and all I hear is, oh, Ooh. in the video. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. Were you about, uh, blew through that berm right before the two table top? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> that thing was just crazy. I'm used to that faux fitty gang, son. Gang, gang. Gang, gang. Wait. Nah. Nah. <laughs> nah. That's gone. What? Your four fitty. Oh, yeah. I thought, oh, old party boy came and got that. Old party boy. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like him, my freaking nose is running today. Really? Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. All right. We're getting there. We're getting there. We almost in there like yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> That's in there now. It's in there. Bruh. These are those bolts that run all the way through. They're long. Long boys. Mm -hmm. They got slidey boys attached to them? I guarantee it. Guarantee they got slidey boys? <laughs> I guarantee there's some slidey boys on Oh them. man, I can't wait to see them <laughs> slidey boys. <laughs> We should get shirts made that say Slidey Boys on them. Oh, Volt. Oh, damn, son. Hey, wait, let me see that. Sure. I bet you that thing has big socks. All right, so we got the head off. Now we can see the cylinder. So all the smoke that was uh, pouring out of here, if you look down here, this is oil. So that's what's burning, causing all that smoke. All right. We will note that there's an arrow on this piston, and this is more of a reminder for me. We can go back and watch the video. So it's not like the other one on the 110 that was previously aired, um, where it had IN in for intake nope this is uh just an arrow pointing to the exhaust side and four giant balls four giant balls that's what we'll go with okay so i like that all right we're ready to pull the the oh some uh to note the slidey boys did stay the slidey boys stayed in stayed in <laughs> oh shit so got them slidey boys we're ready to pull the cylinder off and that should take about Come couple, on. a couple minutes because this. All right, you have 120 seconds. Actually, it's a lot faster now because I got room for my wrench. So you have 118 seconds. All right, we'll have it done in 45 seconds. 45 seconds? Yeah. All right. I'm keeping an eye on the timer on my GoPro right now. All right. Let's see. We're at 128 right now. Which means you're about 11 seconds deep. There's the bolt. I'm gonna have to feed this time cha timing chain. Make sure it don't fall down in the cylinder. <clears throat> we'll note that's the slidey boys. You're 40. 45 seconds is over. I'm done. Oh. <laughs> we'll note that 
let the uh, slidey boy stay here. It looks like an O-ring there. Should be able to gas it here. The slidey boy stayed in. So we'll leave it in there. All right. The rod, it can have side to side play. Okay. Like this. Let me a little bit closer. That's okay. But it can't have up and down, which it doesn't. So it's good. Is so? Is there a limit to that side to side motion? I'm sure there is somewhere, but what? So just out of what you do, because obviously here at uh, Tinker Time, there's a lot of tinkering going on, but you know. Just some good old boys. Just some good old boys. <laughs> you sound like a country singer. <laughs> right. Just some good old boys. I don't remember where I was going with that. Cylinder looks in really good shape. No deep scratches in it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I like that. I was kind of worried about this being so old that it would have some damage on it. But I can still see some cross hatching in it. So. We'll uh, scutch, scutch, scutch it up. We'll scuff, <laughs> scutch we'll scuff it up with a uh, Scotch Brite pad and call it a day, I guess. So cool. We'll pull the piston out next. All right, I'll have you come on this side. Let's see, that remember, side. Remember to our last video, putting the wrist pin in. Same thing. There's a notch out here to get your little pick or screwdriver into to get that circular pop. All right. So I don't know if the screwdriver will actually work on this one. I'm glad my GoPro is shielding my eyes. <laughs> That's exactly what you don't want to do. And I thought to myself, I should really put some rags in there. Did it fall in there? It fell down. Really? Damn. Let's see if a magnet can get it. Well, here at Tinker Time, this is real life, all right? We Shit like happens when you party naked. <laughs> we partied naked on that one, guys. I think you can get it. Oh! Got him! <laughs> First Got try. Got him! <laughs> Heck yeah. Look at that. Whew, I thought I was going to have to turn the engine. Look at that. I bet your booty hole was puckering. It was, too. <laughs> Man, I knew I should have put some rags in there. Oh, shit. It yeah. happens, bro. Now we'll pull the uh, <clears throat> off. And the wrist pin is coming your way. It's coming at you. Look at the string. Yeah, that's dookie. All right. It's coming at you. Dookie butter. I got dookie butter. Drop this down there too. That would suck. I'm sorry I can't help you. You just sit there and look pretty. Oh, I will. I got my tripod in my hands. Because you know that's what it's called. Ooh, that's tight. That's what she said. Sheesh, Louise. Informational. This is for information. Information purposes? Informational purposes. I was worried this thing was so old that maybe the top end has been done before. But I pulled the piston out. And this is actually a, a Yamaha piston. So it's safe to assume that this is a stock piston. I can order standard bore rings for it. However, I will pull out the vernier caliper and try to get a uh, measurement on the piston. What is that thing? Vernier caliper. What the hell is the that? Digital caliper. Okay. And we'll get a uh, measurement on how wide this bore or this piston is. So, cool. I think that's uh, all we're going to get into today. I'm going to get on and uh, order some parts for this guy. Make sure that uh, he's cool with the amount of money I spend. But, uh. Stick around for next time.
and uh, stay tuned. We're going to be rebuilding back this back up once the parts come in, and uh, it's going to be a blast. Catch you on the flipping and flop!